Well, they surf church Sunday about 8 o'clock. You can't see him, I don't think, with a great big blue jay right there. And my Indian is uh, right here surveying. There's a squirrel lives in that big tree back there. And he comes down and gets in the bird feeder, or tries to. And she hates him. He drives her crazy. So she's out there every day just sitting right there waiting for the squirrel to make any kind of movement so she can chase him. You can see there's hardly any wind. And the tide's low about two. There he is. He's on the ground now. I want to show you that there's an article in the paper about Westminster Canterbury. You know, I showed it to you before, different places, but there it is, how big it is. The pier is right over here, just to the right-hand side of that building right there. And they're, gonna, they're talking about building another one of these right along in here, where the pier was. And they're going to connect the two with a big land bridge. And that's what I was telling you about a couple weeks ago, but some of the neighbors aren't happy with it. This was the original building here. Then they added this, well, this one and this one. Then they added this baby over here. It won some kind of architectural award. The local company, Snow Junior and King, did it. Pretty big complex. One of many they have. A hearty surf church breakfast. Scrambled eggs. Leftover sausages from last night. Energy. A low tide spin. Seen that guy before. We're crossing the bridge. The tide is getting low. We're going to go back to the same spot where we found the 14K Platinum Ring with the two parking spots and I doubt very seriously that there are any is a my neighborhood has a lot of cars in it already because this is a beautiful surf church Sunday day and we might have to move back to uh, down there by the, where I sent to the picture this morning Westminster Canterbury there's a lot of parking down that way that means they just got to walk about a mile to the east but sheer blind luck there may be a spot there. We'll be there in about five or ten minutes. Stand by. Okay, cross you. Cross you. We might be in luck. That same spot may be open again today. Oh no, the one behind it is open. Perfecto. I didn't expect to see that, I can tell you. Look at that. My one little spot is right here. Pluck up. Pluck up. Done deal. I expect to see some looters down here today, but I don't see any. I just see lots of people and dogs. We're going to go east today, then back this way. You see the tide's still up a little bit, but like I said, we got two hours before it's low. I got a same attire on. I'm gonna hunt right along this drop off. Going down, we'll hunt just outside coming back up. That's my buddy Eddie, the firefighter. What are you doing up here? Uh, same thing. Well, I've been here 15 minutes. Not one target yet. Not one. Not, that's a plenty of iron here, but no targets. 
There's Bowser. Bowser's going on the beach. Bowser. I see Eddie digging a few coins up there. A lot of people. A lot of people on the beach. I'm about knee deep. People Godzilla. Solid jumpy number. I mean, a jumpy number, but it's solid. It's not, you know, not irony. I expect it to be junk, though. Went very deep. That's why I don't like this scoop sometimes. Too many little tiny rocks, they won't fall through. I don't see any. Uh, maybe I do see it. There it is. Piece of aluminum. First target. I'm kind of in the middle here a little bit. There's that outer bar. That'll be dry in a little while. I'm in a like a little hole right here, you see. But it's empty. Empty hole. So far. Well, we got out of that little hole. We're going to go into another little one. Still no targets much. The first solid good sound is a 13. See it? Now one scoop off of it is 12. Might be iron too. Says we got it though. I say nothing but rocks. No. Oh. That's because it's still in the hole. Yeah, I'm thinking deep iron now. Stand by. Oh, that's pretty. That's the first decent sound and decent target we got though. Gotta start someplace. Uh oh. We got an iffy one here. Oh, I never did get the other one out. I got 15 scoops off the other one. Never could get it, so I left it. I don't think this is anything. Rocks, I think. Blank. Fifteen, seventeen. Jumping around a little bit. As we got it though. Bottle cap, first bottle cap. 
Corona, Premier. Eight, nine, ten. Kind of jumpy. I think we got it. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't see anything. Maybe that. Got another target right next to her, 14. Aluminum. I'm gonna have to be a metal scrapper today, I guess. 15. Bar cap, I mean, uh, pull tab. It jumped from six to nine. Now it's at 12. That could mean something like a bottle cap. Now it's jumping between 12 and 16. Got it, whatever it is. I think nothing. One more time in the hole, we'll see if we can hit it. Still see nothing. Well, that's odd. I don't understand all I know about that. Oh well. I guess we'll never know. Well, we got another target. 17, 18. Oh, 
we got that too. I tell you what I am going to do when I get back to the ramp where I put in that. I'm going to the truck and change scoops before I start going back the other way. I don't see nothing in here either. See if it's in the pile. No. There it is again though. See anything. Let's take it up here and dump it out. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Little piece of crap aluminum. Piece of aluminum. Fourteen. Bottle cap. Budweiser. King of beers. Well, we got our first coin sound. We got a twenty-seven. Nope, not a coin. Another piece of aluminum. Ha. I'm going to change scoops. I'll be back in a minute. Now this will make sifting much easier and much faster. Well, we're getting to try it out right here. We've got a, a jumpy 11 and 6. Probably a bottle cap. Nope, it's a ring or something. Filter off a whole light lamp or something, I don't know. I was hoping this bar would be dried up by now, but it's close. It ain't quite dry though. It's about knee deep, not quite knee deep here in the middle. I dug, it, dug another bottle cap, brand new Bud Light. Uh oh, got something here though. Sounds like a shallow 18. Apparently it ain't too damn shallow. Well, I got it four scoops deep. I see nothing.
That means it must have fallen through right here at my feet. Yep, there it is right there. Don't tell me what it is though, but it's gotta be a little. Let's see if we can save it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, I see it. It is teeny. Looks like the back off a of earring. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But I ain't sure. No, I believe it's a pop rivet now. Yeah, pop rivet. We got a 13. Tucker Deep. I mean, I'm at Tucker Deep. My pecker ain't very hot either. Jumping a little bit now between 11 and 13. Be another deep iron one. Stand by. It's a little jumpy, but five is the best of it. Looks like a big chunk of aluminum. I dug some aluminum today. I ain't showed you all of it. Well, we got about a block to go in the hunt. Might not be no tickets today. Might be junk, I guess. No coins. Just crap. Stand by. Might be the last target of the day. It's a 14-16. Kind of jumpy. I see nothing. Might be it. Let's drop it down there and find out. Yep, that's it. Whatever that is. 1416.
tide never got off low enough to dry those bars out. I was hoping it was going to. But no. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. The roundup. I didn't ever see Eddie after we saw him that one time. He must have kind of left early or something. When I switched scoops, he wasn't in the parking spot. He's got a handicap thing. He can park in the handicap. But they were both vacant. I guess he went home. Maybe he'll give me a report. Well, I made it back to the truck. My phone's been busy. Looks like I got guy dropped off two kitchen knives and <coughs> girl says she's gonna drop off some hatches or ha axes she's an axe thrower goes to that axe club axe throwing club here the tribal tribal axes is called <coughs> damn i don't know what she uh dropped off i got i've done some from her before sometimes she brings two sometimes she brings three Stand by, we'll be home in a few minutes. Well, you might as well say I was in the scrap business today. Aluminum, scrap, copper, ball caps, ammo thing, two pull tabs, not one coin. That's the lead coal line, like the fishermen's use. That's uh, like 3 8 inch. It's got a little lead cord that runs all the way through it. It's too too much trouble to get it loose. But that, I use it for years. Lead cord line. Nice stuff, but a little expensive. Okay. We'll see what Monday brings. Hi, Mr. Boo Boo. You hanging out with the boys? You ain't going to believe it. You just ain't gonna believe it. I told you I had some knives coming in and some hatchets or axes or whatever you want to call. Them. Well, this guy's got two. He said he just brought these brand spanking new Heckle Internationals and they're dull. Well, I shouldn't say that. He tried to sharpen this one on a six dollar pull through sharpener and it is dull. He didn't try to do this one. He said, I've messed this one up. I'm gonna bring it to you. This one's uh, not too bad. But, the girl with the hatches. I thought she had two or three hatches. That's what I did for her before. It's truly amazing. She said, this is an old style fireman's axe. She bought this at a thrift store. No antique shop. The handle's broke on it. And the handle is broke on, I'll show you another one. East wings. This one. The handle's broke right there. Ah, how many is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Can you read that? That can mean only one thing. Fresh hamburger meat. On the grill. The grill is smoky. Dinner will be ready soon. The Indians just come in. We've been playing. Big old Jack is out of breath. Got him. <laughs> Thank you.
Angus burgers. Almost ready. Got a touch of Swiss cheese on top. Hey, you too much that time. <laughs> it doesn't really bite you.